This is a short demonstration of some new software being developed to interface your Windows PC to your model railway. When it's ready for release it will be completely free and available both as a complete application and a developer's library. The software is still in the early stages and all currently permits is locomotive control. Accessories and feedback will be coming later to provide full layout control. Since it's not yet finished, please don't pay too much attention to specifics in the user interface as I'm sure it will receive an overhaul. Also, apologies in advance for the ram out of wiring on the railway, it is going to be redone when I pin the track down. The Hornby Elite Digital Controller provides not only the model railway control, but also the interface to the computer via a USB port situated on the back. The software currently supports the Lens ExpressNet protocol, which is implemented by the Hornby Elite. However, it's also implemented on the Lens LI101 or LIUSB devices, and indeed the software was originally developed using an LI101F. This is the rail driver unit from PI Engineering. Originally designed as a controller for Microsoft Train Simulator and rapidly expanding into other simulators, you can now use it to drive your model railway. And given the low cost of the Elite controller, this means that you can get your rail driver driving your model railway for very little cost. Finally, the actors in our demonstration are a Backman Class 37 fitted with Southwest Digital Sound, a Hornby Class 90 in one Anglia livery, and a Hornby Eurostar. Okay, let's get started. First thing we need to do is get the software switched on. So we'll configure the software. Talk to the Elite. Switch it on. And then we'll open a throttle. Now there are three kinds of throttle provided currently. And we're going to use the rail driver throttle first. Okay. What we have here are two trackers that give you the state of the throttle and the brake sliders and we're going to accept lo loco number 9 which is our class 37. Okay, now we've done everything we need to do to start driving. Moving to the rail driver, we start off by switching the engine on. While that finishes starting off, let's get the lights switched on. So we move back to the rail driver and we operate the lights. And by the time we get back up here, we're currently facing the wrong direction. The lights are on, you can see them on the ground there. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get pointing in the right direction. So let's put it in reverse. Okay, we've got our lights now. A reverser. It's just all your controls here. We have reverser. Throttle, train boat, and low boat. Release the brakes and apply some throttle. Watch the number go up and listen to the sound. Moving back to the rail driver, this is the horn. So there's James Coaches, kindly known to us, with the Pullman on the back. And our 37 slowly waking its way around. So let's back to the rail driver and just drop the throttle slightly with the brake.
as we switch it back into forwards the lights come back on and we'll throw, release the brake apply some throttle speed starts to go up and you can hear the brakes So currently at 41% throttle. Let's turn the push the throttle all the way up. Now we've used the max voltage setting on this to limit its maximum speed. And of course the loco itself has got inertia. Okay, and now it's time to come to a stop. So we push the brakes forwards. You can see the percent going down. And at this point, it's purely the inertia of the loco keeping it going. So let's get that one back going again, and then we'll look at the other controls. Get it going 50% speed. Okay, that's close enough. Right. Now, throttle. We have simple throttle. We've got simple and advanced throttles. Simple throttle is one of these. We're going to have the Eurostar driving on the simple throttle, which is loco number 11. Get set. Simple throttle is simply does exactly what it says on the tin. If we now go back to the railway. Got the Eurostar running. Okay, the advanced throttle. It's one of these. The difference with an advanced throttle is you've got independent control of throttle and brake. We're going to drum drive the one Anglia, which is loco number five. The lower Anglia is actually on the lug track backwards, so we need to put it into reverse. And we can turn the throttle up. Now, again, we can see the current speed here. And we can roll the throttle there. So we're now going to hold speed at If we now apply some more throttle and bring that up to 60%, the higher the throttle, the faster it accelerates, obviously. Bring up some more, and then cut the throttle. If we look back here, everything is moving a little faster. 